all these things. Much better. Write, write at least 150 words. You do not need to write any addresses. Begin your letter as follows. Dear sir or madam. Do you remember we working on this assignment? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, those, of us, those of us who have forgotten, we have worked on this assignment before. In actual fact, I shared with you an essay a student wrote and how the examiner scored that essay. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's see. Let me see if I can find that essay. Just to remind you, just to remind you of what we have learned in the past. I know my students, uh, memories run fast like nobody's business. So sometimes things we have already done, we quickly forget them. Okay. So that is writing task one. Uh, good, I've seen it. Okay. So I'm sharing it now. It should be on your screen shortly if it is not there already. So this is a student's answer or a student's response to that writing task. Now, if you remember, we discussed this. DSA stroke, Madam, I am writing to express my dissatisfaction Ma. with my roommate. As you know, we share one room. I cannot study in the room at all anymore. If I still stay there, she always has friends visiting and has parties in the room. They make lots of noise and switch on the radio very loudly. For me, this environment is very difficult to study and I need a quiet room. Even uh, borrows my things without asking is very unpolite. I request you, I request you can give me a new room next time because I have been asked I have been asked her, she has parties so in other places many times, but they still have parties in the room. I really cannot stay in the same room with her. I would be grateful yes. if you could change, if you could change me a single room. Yours faithfully, Catherine. I think now you remember. We had a full discussion on this. And yes, then we, we discussed the examiner's comment. The examiner scored this essay band 5.5. Band 5.5. And this is the examiner's comment. This response does address the requirements of the task and appears in the letter format. Okay, so one of the areas you'll be scored on is called a task achievement or task response. And that the examiner will look at what was the purpose of the task. The purpose of the task was to write a letter to ask for a room change. The letter generally, the, the essay generally is a letter 
one, and then two, it is asking for a change of room for some reasons, despite the poor handwriting and the bad, sometimes spelling and grammar. Then the examiner continues. The second bullet point is well covered. The second bullet point is well covered with multiple problems presented. However, overall, there is some repetition of the task rubric and there is room for more detail to be included. For example, coverage of the third bullet point. The organization of ideas is not wholly logical and points and points are not always linked together well. So we call that sentence construction. Despite these problems, the introduction to the letter is appropriate and the purpose of the writer is clear. There is a range of vocabulary which is generally adequate and appropriate to the task. Complex structure are attempted, but overall sentences are kept quite simple. Grammatical errors are frequent and they do cause some difficulty to the reader. 5.5, band 5.5. Okay, so if the writing task is just the task one. I know all of you can easily get a band six. All of you with a little effort, you can easily get a band six. However, there is a second part that requires a lot of thinking and putting thoughts together and making argument for it, the position you will take. But this is how it looks for that. You all agree this is easy, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Somehow. Somehow, okay. Where do you think you will have a challenge? The person who said somehow. The person is gone quiet, eh? Oh, left. All right. Today, I want to start introducing you to a task two. The task two of the writing test. Can somebody read what is on the screen for us? Can I get a volunteer to read for me, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. General training writing sample task 2A. Writing task 2. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. In Britain, when someone gets old, they often go to live in a home with other older people where there are nurses to look after them. Sometimes the government has to pay for this care. Who do you think should pay for this care? The government or the family? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Thank you so Thank much. you. Thank you so much. So, I mean, when you go and get a topic like this, oh my God, this is your area, right? They are talking about nursing home. 
this is your area, it's a lot more easier to associate yourself with a topic like this. Now, let me show you the next topic. Um, can somebody else read the next topic for me? Pass 2B. Yeah, hello. Okay, hello, sir. Please, I'll read. Okay, go ahead, the lady. Okay. You should spend about 40 minutes on this class. Write about the following topic. Shopping is becoming more and more popular as a leisure activity. However, some people feel that this has both negative and positive effects. Why is shopping so popular? What effect does it increase in the popularity in popularity have on individuals and then on society? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least two fifty ways. Thank you so much. So this is a topic that is a little off. Uh, as for the ladies, you'll be familiar with this one, shopping as a leisure. And a few gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> so, so the point I'm trying to make is sometimes the topic will be on a subject for which you have no idea of. Um, I've seen topics where if you are not in the UK or you are not in the advanced country, you need to daydream. Okay. So this, this is the type of uh, questions you are likely to meet in the class too. This is the type of questions you are likely to meet in the task two. Okay, today we want to attempt it. Now I'm going to ask three people, no, five people, just look at the task and tell me five bullet points, whether you think the government should pay or the family is the one to pay. This is the type of task we call uh, argumentative. You are going to advance an argument. First, you need to take a position. Oh, I'm giving all the meat away. I need five people to tell me how to approach this task. I'm going to go random and call five people randomly. Adjuan Yakua entry, you will be one. So get yourself ready. Esther, a free year anchor, wherever you are, you are also one. Get yourself ready. Uh, Alice, Alice, Tabu, you are another person, three. Get yourself ready. Sarah, this one is the fourth person. And then the last person, uh, let me see, let me get a gentleman. The last person, where am I, gentleman? Samuel Yao from Pong. Five people. Just tell me how you're going to approach this essay. So, um, who did I call first? Tell me, how will you approach this test? Hello. Yes, madam. Uh, sir, please. Uh, this is Adwanya Kwenchi. Yes, madam. Mm -hmm. Sir, please, uh, I would say that you Adua. will plan the essay before Adua. writing it. Uh, you would answer the question. Sir. Do you remember what I told you at, about not being more Catholic than the Pope?
Hello, sir. Ajua. Sir, please, I'm listening. Do you remember what I said about never to be more Catholic than the Pope? Do you remember? Yes, please. Okay, back again. So you planned your you plan your essay by answering the question. Uh, you go straight to the point uh, and answer the question as is being given to you. Wow. With, so with this question, he said, in Britain, when someone gets old, they often go to live in home with other, other older people where there are nurses to look after them. Sometimes the government pay for this care. Who do you think should pay for this care? So uh, you ask yourself whether uh, the payment of the... Uh, I, do, I don't think you heard the question, what I asked you to do. Hello, sir. Adua, are you in the are you in the class with us today? So, so with this, you state whether you agree with the uh, you you agree or you disagree. So you choose uh, one of them and uh, give your reason and explain further. Okay, thank you, Adua. You are obviously not with us today. Esther, Ankara, it's your turn. Esther, I okay, see sir, you. I'm, I'm, still, <laughs> I'm still gathering my points anyway. Okay, so first I will answer the question by saying government should pay for it. With the reason being that these are uh, senior citizens who work all their yes. lives for the development of the country. And then this is their uh, tend to enjoy that benefit. That will be my first point. Okay. And yeah, my four second more, four point. Four more to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my second point is that um, if we want the, uh, okay, if government pay for it or is paying for such services, equal treatment will be given to uh, the agent. Equal and quality service will be given to the agent with the sense that they wouldn't be any situation whereby they will say a citizen or an aged person in the uh, care home didn't pay or is unable to pay for his or her services. So because of that, the person will not be attended to and the person will end up losing his or her life because of it. Good. And my, my point third point is, third point. Yeah. My third point is some of them did not uh, do not have enough uh, or uh, they don't have enough savings mm -hmm. and they, some of them too don't even have children whereby we can fall on their children to better for their parents at their old age. Mm -hmm. That's so, point number three. That's, yes, please. Two to go. I'm still, I'm still brainstorming for the two. <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent point. I love it. Alice, it's your turn. Alice, All right, thank you. good. Go yes, ahead. sir. Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, this question is more like a debate question, so you have to pick a stand. So what I'll go with stand? the government has to pay. The government has to pay. Okay. 
take care of the person's hospital needs. So with my first point, the government has to pay for their the hospital bills because the ones served the nation, they made contributions towards pension. And I know definitely the government um took some part for medical bills. So at their old age, the government has to take care of that. Okay. Point because eight. they made contributions towards that, yes. And then the second point is about income. Mm -hmm. They receive less income, yes. So with this, they, they are not able to afford for it. So the government has to still come in to support them. Mm -hmm. Excellent and, point. Point um, number three. Point number three. Um <laughs> let's um wait. No, I'm still coming. <laughs> 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 okay, Alice, keep thinking. Sarah, help us. Sarah, AC is one. Please help us. Okay. Yes. Please, I'm saying that I'm standing for the government paying for the services of the old aged because um they've rendered service for the government all their lives, so it's it's a form of payback for all that they've done or did for the government at that time, and some to have low income to sponsor or finance their um hospital bills. So if the government comes in, it will really help them. And also they will have, they will receive equal Sarah, care. that is point one. Oh, let me know when you are going to point two. So I've given 2.2. The first one I said, <laughs> they've, um, they've rendered services for the government all their life, like during their young age, they rendered services for the government in terms of working for the government. So now that they are old, it's time for the uh, government to, to in a form, take care of them. That okay. is the first point. Mm -hmm. yes. And the second point is that some have low savings. They will not be to save much. So they cannot cater for themselves now that they are old. So if the government comes in, it will be fair to them. And the third one is they, there will be no discrimination since the government is taking care of everybody um they receive equal services and then mm, sorry, three. Okay. So I'm thinking about you mute your microphone the baby crying then is your attention <laughs> okay sorry. samuel Samuel will be our concluding speaker. Yeah, thank you, sir. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, um, Honorable Samuel. My stand is the family should pay. That is my stand. And the reasons are? I'm standing for the motion the family should pay. An individual should have insurance cover for such occurrences. That's one. Secondly, you should have lived a lifestyle that may or may not not lead you to take into the healthcare. Thirdly, you, you should have the opportunity you, you have the opportunity to optimize care when the family members pay for your bills. Fourthly, you must have invested in a family in the family. So at this point, the family should also hold, help you in these circumstances. I was able to pick only four points for now. Hmm. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, Honorable Member of Parliament. Uh, yes. If I may, please, yes. can you agree to both stands? No, you cannot. You have to take one stand. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. 
Doctor, please, this is Sanjo. I wanted to add up to what uh, they have already said, uh, taking the stance that the government should come in. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the points I would say is that majority of the older people are dependent. So when it comes to Adra, are you with us? Can you guys hear Adra? No, sir. No, sir. So they really didn't answer my question. Oh. Mostly after terminal diseases. Adra, during... Adra Hello, we sir. lost you briefly. We lost you briefly. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the second point is that majority of the older people have mostly have terminal diseases during their old age mm -hmm. and the, the family is not able to cater uh, for them. And most of the times, most of them, example, uh, example is most of them are on dialysis and a lot of other things. So they have the government has to come in with the issue of uh, those terminal cases. Otherwise, majority before their time. Okay. Now, thank you. Can I add, can I add two? All right. I have two points here okay. for the government. Um, mm -hmm. The first one is uh, most family do not have enough time for their older old ages or their older people. Mm -hmm. And my second point is um. Some some family members, some older people have no family at all. Mm -hmm. My reason is sometimes it's either the family are most of them are dead and gone, or most of them because the person they didn't care for the family or um did not have much input in the family. The family do not care for them again. So when they are old. They are just left alone, so that it's better for the government to come in to look for the, to look after those people, those people. That those are my two points to add to what they have said. Thank you very much. Now, Nancy, you were making a comment. I'll come back, Nancy, shortly. Isaac Kuna, do your hand is up. Do you have something to add or a question to ask? Yes, sir. Please, sir. I would like to. Uh, the, la the last but one speaker is it Ajua or something? I forgot about the name. Yes. Yeah, she was making a point that was quite brilliant. But I, I also realized that uh, she was using some very technical ways like terminal illness and those kind of things. We on this platform understand what terminal illness means. <laughs> but I want to find out whether that may also affect you. But maybe the examiner may not understand what the terminal illness in, in this may be. Okay. Yeah, it's a very technical term. Yeah, thank you. All right. I will Hello, come back sir. to that. Yes. Uh, I want to answer that question about the terminal, uh, okay, the terminal disease. He was saying that he doesn't know. Mm. Oh, some of them, uh, you can say cancer. It's a terminal disease. Mm. Uh -huh. It's an a, 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 cancer is an example of a terminal disease. That's what I can say. I don't know how to explain further for him to okay. understand. I think at this stage, majority of you have taken the CNA exams and passed. So if you don't know terminal illness, you have no business being here because you should have no, read no, sir, about sir, terminal sir, illness. Sir, in your no, sir, you, you, you didn't get me. I understand what a terminal illness is, but I'm saying that what if uh, there, there is it's a very technical word. So I was asking if what if the, the examiner? Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, sir, that's what I'm talking sir, about. Sir, please, I want to answer him. <laughs> I think that there, there, there's a score for vocabulary, and yeah. she would rather gain more points by using the STEM. That's what I think. Thank you. Um, um, Isaac, that's a brilliant question. I'll come back to it later. Okay. Don't worry. I'll answer you. Roxin, your hand has been up, then Sanusa, then Nancy. Roxin. 
Esa. Ajá. Roxanne, do you have a question? No, some point. Sorry? Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have some points to make. Okay, make them. Okay, I I go for the government should pay the bills because first of all, uh, the older people are not working and then they are not earning any income. Mm -hmm. So if the government pays for for them, it will release some stress Pressure. or financial burden from them. Okay, excellent. Secondly, point, one. point two. Yes. Secondly, uh, some some older people are living with their family members who are jobless. So if the government pays for those people, it will help them to release that kind of financial burden from the family members as well. Okay. And the third point, uh, the family members, most of the family members are also having children to take off. Some are having uh, more children to take care of. So when they add the bills of the older person to this, then financially they will be down. So if the government pays for them, uh, that financial burden will also be released. Relieved. And then the, the third point is, uh, some in some family, all the younger people have left the older people and let's say they have been abandoned. Yes. So if the government uh, pays for those people, uh, it will leave some financial burden from the, the aged at that point. And then last but not the least, uh, I think it's it will be a, ben a benefit that uh, the aged will enjoy when they are on retirement, like a benefit from the government okay. for the aged to enjoy. Hmm. Thank you, Roxanne. Excellent point. I love those points. <laughs> Sandu, sir, you have the floor. Yeah, hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, boss. Please, I'm, I'm going for government. You're going for? Paying. Government paying. Yes, sir. OK. And Where are your points? I have some two additional points. OK. Can you, can, you, can you get closer to your device? You come and go, come and go. Get close to your device so that we can hear you well. That's, I, I hope you can hear me now. Now much better. Go ahead, sir. Yes, I'm. I'm saying that uh, most of my my points have been said already, mm -hmm. but I have some two additional points I want to add. Excellent. Add them. Um, one of them is it will motivate other people to work it all, like knowing that um government at the end of the day, if I'm sick or if I'm older and I'm sick, government is there to take care of me. It motivates me to work without thinking. <laughs> and then uh, my second point is that government has the resources to also um, monitor the facilities to know whether the people have been taken care of well or not. And that's my second point I want to add. Excellent Thank point. Thank you so much. I love it. Nancy, you have the floor. Mr. Ramid, I will go for the family. Why? Because there will be much pressure on the government. Even though the people are paying for their pension fee and the government are keeping them. But some people are fi like can abuse it because we have financial differences. Others have a like, good background that they can afford to pay their old age pay, like medical bills. Okay. Okay, so that's they point have one. Pay. Four more to go, Nancy. <laughs> and secondly, they have to pay because, like others who abuse 
the 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 policy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. and the third one it will encourage us to work hard because since we know that our old people or we will be old someday so we have to make budget for ourselves like savings we have to save for our future or during our, our old age yes for our retirement mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so David, that's three point two yes three solid points I love it and the fourth one, uh -huh. there it will be necessary for us to care for our old age parents mm -hmm. because we, uh, the, we know that the government are uh, taking care of them. We are abandoning them yes. at the home uh, home house or uh -huh. yes. So when we are paying for the the their this thing, their expenses, their medical bills. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We will make sure that we, the government or the nurses take good care of them. So we will go for regular checkups and visit them. I see. Nancy, thank you so much. I love your point. I love your point. I love you guys, all your points. Great point. Now, a few questions okay. that you, yes. I would love to hear yours too. I'm also on the family side. You're on the family side. Can you get yes. close to your device? We can hear you far away. Get close to your device. Okay, so please can you hear me now? Much better. All right, so my first point is that um, the family can get the quality of care they want for their older people yes. because they are paying for it. Yes. And the second point is it will bring the family together. It will it's allow the family, family to... bonds. Yes, they will they know that they care for them, they love them. Yes. And then the third point is it will help other people to plan better for their future, knowing that they have to care for themselves as um, when they are old. Okay. And also um when they are at the uh, what do you call it? The aged homes. Mm -hmm. These old people, they get to meet other people. Mm -hmm. They share uh, ideas and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, they will not feel bored. Or... Mm -hmm. And they will be useful to the society. <laughs> Right. Sir, please you. come again. I can hear you. Thank you. Your point is solid. I love them. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think you follow the argument. They are all solid points. There are only there are some downsides as we go along. Why? Now, the first question I want to address is the question. Isaac Tunedu asked about the, the terminology, terminal, is it terminal illness or terminal disease? How do I use? Terminal disease. Terminal illness. Okay. Now, Isaac's concern was, should you use those technical terms? Will the examiner understand it? Wouldn't it be better to use a more common phrase, a more common technology to explain your point so that the examiner, if the examiner is not a technical person, the examiner will still understand the point you are making so that it's called the maximum point. I believe, Isaac, that was your question, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. Now, do you guys remember right from the beginning of IELTS, I told you that you do not need to be an expert on the subject matter. In fact, the arguments you are making, they do not need to be right. They need not to be technically correct. Do you remember me saying that? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, please. Hmm. Yeah. 
to the IELTS. The examiner will score you on grammatical accuracy or lexical resource, coherency, task achievement, uh, but nothing on technical competence. Isaac, the question you ask has to do with technical competence. You can even say the aged people can die of trypanosomiasis or a mouth cow disease, a disease, any, you can even mention a disease that does not affect human beings. But the examiner will not mark you wrong. Provided the spelling is correct, you have used it correctly in a sentence. The sentence construction is excellent. The grammar is good you get your band eight or band nine. Are you getting my point? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes. I, I really need this to sink in you very well. Otherwise, if you go to the IELTS exam, you, especially the writing task two, and you go and meet a topic that you have no idea of. Straight away, you tell yourself, I am not technically competent to answer this question. And you start feeling from there. So if you don't remember anything I have ever told you in this life, just remember one thing, that the IELTS exam has nothing to do with your technical competence. Just make sure your sentence construction is good. You are using the right prepositions at the right places. You are using the right tenses, present tense, past tense, present continued tenses, right spelling, coherency in sentencing, lexical resource perfect, and you get your band score, even though you have no idea of the topic. I was trying to look for an example like that. I will fetch a topic I, I know you have no idea of. Now, uh, you notice every answer each of you gave, I kept saying you are 100% correct. Somebody will say, Mr. David like pampering us. Even if we are wrong, he says you are <laughs> that, that is true. Not, <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's a true. fact. <laughs> it's a fact that you are correct because you are making a strong argument. In fact, in real life, when you go to the exams, remember they said you are supposed to write at least 250 words. Um, I will encourage you, I always encourage you to write more than 250 words, 350 words, 150 words. But in the exams, there will be a time where you will be short of point, like Esther, when she started, then she got to point three, then she was missing. Ajwa also the same, uh, Sarah the same. In fact, at a point, you see that the point you are trying to advance, you are just paraphrasing earlier points you have already made. There is a way of jumping to the other side of the debate. I will show you how to use that trick. And that will increase your word count, the number of words. So perfect example, you are arguing for the government to pay. You have advanced point one, point two, point three in support of the government paying, and you find yourself you are short of points. There's a way to cross over to the family paying, but finish it as though is the government paying. We'll show you that trick. That will show up your word count so that you get the words you are to write. 
the goal here is not to advance a solid point to convince the examiner that your point is good and no, that is not the goal at all. Now, let me share with you a student like you who sat that who, who took the test and the answer of that student. Now, my eyes are not too good. Let me see. I know somebody here whose eye is perfect and can see and read for us. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Susanna. Susanna, who's here? Yes, sir. Good. I know your eyes are good. Please read the <laughs> student answer. Okay, thank you. Who should be responsible for our people? It's true that the old people's situation gets worse in the many count, countless states. In the in the many countries, the first question must be what the first question must be what they want and what they need, especially their necessity are more benefits, more respect, more pay. <laughs> More, more, more what? Correct. <laughs> Life. If they have been working for a long time in the any company or a hey, said this is tautology. Public sector and when they get old, that means what? What? They are retired company or government must be responsible of their welfare. It's just my opinion. They should take care of them. In addition to company or government, if they have good money, they can look after themselves they can look after their selves. We can do we something. We can to do make. something to make <laughs> and <laughs> they are, they are like, hey, say, I'm confused. God, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so you see how examiner struggles. I think I was going to read something better, crowd. Then I got the shock of my life. Hey. Okay. Thank you for reading that. <laughs> Thank now, you, sir. You are not done, though. It is it's a page two. But okay. I for think... example, an organization or a voluntary association mm -hmm. understands. The family, the family, or relative responsibility depends on their wealthy situation. If they could do, they should do anything. Government or their family or farmer, are you ready? Please, please, please put. Le or their former leader, please, could supply them with in in incentives and a good social security policy. The social community center or old age prisoner, like in the pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, let me I get can't. somebody. 
Vida Opoku, please read the examiner's yeah. comment for me. This this essay, basa basa basa, the person got a band five. Uh, yes. Uh, the person wow. got a band five. Wow. We will get band nine. <laughs> we will you cross nine uh, with this. Vida Opoku, please read them. Okay, say. <laughs> There are quite a lot of relevant ideas in the answer, but they are not always well developed and sometimes they are unclear. There are some areas in the answer. And the reader finds the message difficult to follow. Link to this. Paragraphing is not very helpful in terms of grouping ideas around a central topic. Nevertheless, the writer's view is apparent and there is a logical flow to the point given. Although there is some appropriate vocabulary, there are a lot of errors throughout. There are some complex structures used. There are some complex structures used, but overall, but overall sentence control is very weak. And this makes some parts, such as the conclusion, very hard to follow. Notes. The correction made by the last taker. The test the taker. In this handwriting response makes make it difficult to read. It is better to cut out an error and rewrite the word so that the final response is clear. Vida, thank you very much. So my friends, do you see it? When I said you guys are great, you have made excellent point. Look at the mambo jumbo this person has put together. <laughs> called the band five. Say so the examiner pampered the person. <laughs> Seriously, it's not fair. But it's not fair. At all. Oh, say, bam. To my opinion, I think even the name, the person is not from an English country. You don't need to come from an English country to do the uh, IELTS. If you are from Togo, French-speaking country, you can write the IELTS. If I'm from France, it's from Togo. You can't write the English. So I have yeah. the same similar. Many, 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 many of you. Are you sure we can pass this IELTS exam? And the IELTS exams is my headache, and I'm afraid of the IELTS exams. Oh, I, did not. Okay. I don't want to say anything that will make your head swell, but I know in my heart they are going to ace the IELTS exam. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, but be that as it may, I don't expect you to go and sleep. We need to work a lot more harder. Okay. So, that is somebody's response to that task. And that is the examiner's comment. Now, there is another interesting essay that was taken in the IELTS exams and a very interesting response and a very interesting mark. I want to share that with you. Do you remember the second task on the uh, shopping, the leisure, uh, shopping as a leisure? <clears throat> I want to reread it. 
writing. Oh, I have three hands up. I'll, I'll shortly call you. Let me finish reading. Okay. Maybe I should call you first. Uh, whose hands are up? One second. Okay, Isaac, Marianne, your hand is up. Yes, today. Please, I want to know with the total word counts after your write up, do you include two letter words? Even one letter word counts as a word. Oh, okay. A okay. I. Those are all. Okay, thank you. Peter. Um, Isaac, your hand is up, or is the previous one? Isaac, could not do your hand is up? No, sir. No, sir. Maybe it's the previous one. The previous one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So let's look at this okay. task. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. Shopping is becoming more and more popular as a leisure, as a leisure activity. However, some people feel that this has both positive and negative effects. Why is shopping so popular? What effect does it increase in popular popularity have on individuals and society? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Okay. Do you understand the task? Yes. Five minutes. It's now 4.13. So five minutes will be 4.18. I need each of you to type in the chat five points you are going to advance either in support of or against the argument. Do you, sub, do, you sub, uh, do you agree that shopping will have a positive impact on the society? or you think shopping will have a negative effect, effect. Type your answers in the chat now. Everyone.
Okay, according to my time, <clears throat> your time is up. Now type your answers in the chat now. Please type your answers now. My people, are you there? I can only see, I can see, let's see. Okay, I can see three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see eight answers out of uh, 65 students in the class today. The rest of you, what are you doing? Are you typing or you are just an observant? Okay, let's see what is happening. I think four more had come to add. Florence, you have only stated two points. Florence, you have only advanced two points. William, great. Samuel, excellent. Philip, you only advanced three, four points. Where is my last point? Mansura, I can see only three point two. Fafa, Fafa, where is your argument? Ivy, Patricia. Araba, Abigail, Ajoanya, Agnes, Anita, Esther, Dennis, Kezia. Beatrice, Beta, Catherine, where are your points? Edmond, Emmanuel, Emilia, Eva, Fidelia, Fidelia, I want to see your point. Anna, 
Ibrahim, Joyce, Linda. Mary, I've seen your point. Marianne, I want to see all of you. Beth, I have sent yours already. Let me see. Uh, but, okay, yes, better you have sent it. Let me see. Oh, you made three. Let me see. One. Families to bond. Individuals to distress. New Meeting new friends. Shopping improves mental health. Increase government revenue. Okay. Thank you, Better. Yes, you are right. Beatrice, you have sent yours. Hey, Marianne, too. I see. And I miss it. Okay, Abigail, yours have come. Emilia, oh, you too. I see. Adwa, you have sent yours already. Maybe I jumped it. Ivy, oh, okay. Peggy, Peggy, how are you feeling today? Tima, let's see. Tima says, it's a way of relaxation. People bond during, boost people's confidence. It also means, it's a means of leaving some people. I don't understand. Tima, I don't understand your fourth point. And where's my fifth point? Anita, thank you. You have dropped yours. Well, you have brought me my five, my fifth point. Thank you. Ivy, please. Sir, my fifth point. Do you want me to explain my fifth point, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Tima, please explain all your points. Start. Uh, okay, let me just go through my points and explain. I can't really remember them. Okay, I say it's a way of relaxation because some people find shopping relaxing. And they go to shop to buy things. It's like a way of taking away their stress. That's why I say it's relaxation for some people. Okay. Then okay. some people born during shopping, like especially when you have friends, that you people like the same things. When you go out to shop for those similar things, it's a way of bonding. Okay. Number three. It boosts up people's confidence when you are able to purchase what you want. Like maybe when you see a handbag online and you are able to have money to buy that handbag, it boosts your confidence because you don't need to ask somebody that, please, I saw this thing. Can you help me buy it? You just go and buy and get what you want. So it boosts your confidence. Okay. Then the fourth point. And number four, it's also a means of living. It means that people sell online. It means it's just like creating employment for some people. That's why it has made shopping popular because people venture into it for a living. That's what I meant. So. Okay. That's what we meant by the fourth point. Okay. Then where's my fifth point? Okay. Where's my five, my fifth point? I'm waiting for it to, otherwise I'll come to Cameroon right now. Okay, Esther, Esther finally dropped. Income to shop owners. Buyers get their needs. Reduce stress. Contribution to state development. Esther, you have swallowed my one point. I want my fifth point. Catherine. If you don't bring the point, I'll come to the for Rita, I love your point. Okay. Rukaya, negative 
of shopping. Mm -hmm. and it does not promote saving. Rukaya, please advance your point with your voice. Let me hear. Okay. Ivy, please mute your microphone. I said Rukaya. Hello, sir. Better, I can hear you now. Please. Negative of shopping. Tell me about sir, that. I said one, it does not promote savings. No, start with the first one. The negatives of uh, shopping. Yes. And I said one, it does not promote savings. Okay. So in a sense that when you are a fan of shopping always, the little money you have on you, you always use it on maybe unnecessary items. Items. And at the long run, you cannot save. Good point. Number two. Number two. Number two. Says so it, it gives a social pressure. No, you said time consuming. Yeah, the two are type for time consuming. Yes, sometimes when you go out for shopping, the time you spend in the in the shops walking around looking for the item is also time consuming it's a time you could have spent better doing something else yes Great sir. point number three it creates social pressure mm. Sometimes, maybe some people, especially the men, they always shop for their girlfriends. So, if like assuming I'm having a friend whom the boyfriend have shopped for, and, and my boyfriend have not shopped for me, I'll put pressure on my guy to shop for me. Excellent point. Some people also take pictures to come and show to their friend. Now, social media, if you go to social media, or yes. my friend bought me this. Put, put now and now it's leading a lot of the youth to some bad attitude like prostitution and the rest. Agreed. Excellent. Then the, mm? the fourth point they said waste resources. Yes, so it wastes resources like man, money. Okay. Hello, sir. So, uh, resources like Because of the unnecessary pressure, you mm. have to go and buy some stuffs, which is not even necessary. So it's waste of resources such as okay. money. Okay. And then the fifth point, unnecessary increment of prices. Yes, sir. Rukaya, are you still with me? Hey, sorry, I have omitted myself. I can hear you now. So, like, yeah, so when people find the habit of shopping, those same goods and services, they intend to increase their price. It's just a uh, uh, recently there was increase of uh, increasement of uh, this in oil mm -hmm. because people were the demand was high, and whenever the demand is high, the, the price, price also increased. increased. Yes. Excellent point. Thank you so much, Rukaya, for your point. Uh, Nancy, I, Nancy, I noticed you are also, uh, you said is the negative effect of shopping on society. Can you walk us through? Nancy, are you there? Nancy is not with us. 
Now, Nancy, I really need to hear from you. So get yourself ready. I want to take all of us back to the first, as, um, the first argument we saw. Um, taking care of our old people. You remember that essay? And we saw one person scoring a band five with a disjointed essay. I have, I have managed to get somebody who got a band eight. Hello, guys. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are with yes, sir. you. On your screen now is somebody who got band eight for the same essay. And I want us to read it quickly. Then we'll come back to our shopping problem. The title here is We Should Be Responsible for Our Old People. And this person wrote two pages. The examiner's called Band 8. Can you see it? Now, let's read together. Let me get somebody to read for me. Ruth. Can you read for me, Ruth Mensa? Ruth Mensa, can you read what's on your screen? Hey, hey. Sam, I'm coming. Okay. Yes, please. So I'm going to adjust it. I mean, Sir, please, can you come down for I mean, me? From what I can see. I can't, uh, the beginning. Unless you come down. Okay. Who should be... Oh, the most challenging problem of today's society Ruth, I think where you are, your network is not good. Ruth, Ruth, I think where you are, your network is not good. So we're struggling to hear you. Uh, let me call somebody else. Was uh, you guys are disturbing. Okay, sorry, I dropped off. Ruth, can you take it again? Sir, so please, I hope it's better. Much better. Oh, okay. I'm taking it. Uh, the, um, who should be responsible for our old people? One of the most challenging problem of today's society. Okay, is it me or Ruth has dropped off? The Can system. Oh. Ruth, Say, you went, you went up briefly again. Uh, okay. I'm close to the uh, Wi-Fi too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. go on. So, oh, so it's, it's not only a financial problem, but also okay. a question of the okay. system. system. We want our society to have, okay. To have full stop. Full stop, and say, but in. In, there's something there before the essay. In my essay. Mine. 
It's mine. It's mine. M Y. I two has gone off. I think he's back. Oh, okay. Say, are you back? I am here. Okay. Could like four different models. models. Okay. Firstly, the company can be responsible for their retired employees. For this, please, if I'm not getting it safe, okay. Go on. For this reason, for this reason, especially the advantage of this. Model, model is if you believe in the capitalization system. system. Am I right? Capitalize should be the cheapest solution. Cheapest solution. It's possible if possible. possible I can't see what is there. A possible problem is that the companies might have competition. Might have competition. Disadvantage. Competition disadvantage due to their higher staff costs. A second solution is that the government has to has has is it to, has to take the res responsibility for the older people's case okay. it can yeah it can finance this with tax Income. invoices Incomes. actually come Income. again Incomes. Incomes, okay. Tax incomes. Actually, okay. Tax incomes. Actually, this is the most democratic, 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 democratic models since everyone gets as much money as he or she needs. Unfortunately, as the present situation in our country shows this solution hey, the words are not telling yeah this seems. solution seems not do work very well is it do to not work not to work very well this government the government no longer, the government can no longer afford supporting all the old people it's much more right in there. Another way of solving this problem is to give back the responsibilities to the individual. That someone means, should help me. That means that that means that everyone does is it has to say everyone money. was. Has, has to, to say, please come again. Has to has save, to money. save has money. To save money during their working life for this time after the time. their retirement. After the time. This seems a bit too do. This seems to be to, to be not a very fair fair model because they are will they 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 will certainly exist hey, people who can hmm, who cannot afford to save of their salary in this case the government could have to care for them. A last solution is, is 
to go, go back. back to the old model, old model of the big family. Who cares for big all? Family. Their members. Who cares for their all members. their members? I, I could think mm. this is possible in days in our days in our, days, in our days, society becomes the because, because, because in our days society because the family stretches love love so much so much change yeah. to sum up i have to admit that admit that i can't find a real good solution for this problem all models have disadvantage is it advantage or disadvantage advantage and advantage settling we Certainly, certainly, we have think. to think. think. Hey. And then he has exhausted the paper and he wrote the rest on the side. Hey. Yes. Hey. Certainly, hey. we have to think <laughs> about this topic much, much more in the future. In the future. Hey. When, yes. when we are right, we are <laughs> We make sure that everything great for this one. <laughs> and this guy got a band eight. Wow. 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 Nice. <laughs> Believe it or not, hey. this guy got a band eight. Now, I want somebody wow. to read Abigail Hassan. Please read the examiner's comment for me. I am happy yes, you all participated in the reading. So you see where the lapses are. This one, the spelling, the English construction seems a bit good, but the handwriting is very, very, very poor. And so those of us with the Chukuchaka handwriting, please start improving on it. So this one, dear Kamiye. <laughs> okay. Yes, Abigail Hassan, examiner's comment. Yes. This is a very well organized topic from Abigail, is it my yes. network or is it your network? We can't hear you. Uh, okay. Is it okay now? A bit better. Can you improve? Uh, about all your data. Yes. This is a very well which analyze. Oh, so so your network is bad. Evelyn, Evelyn Ba, please read the examiner's comment for me. Evelyn Ba. Yes. Evelyn Ba, please read the examiner's comment. Very well, nice response. Which mm -hmm. analyzes the topic oh, from all yeah. different angles and fully answers the question. No, 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 Evelyn, no, 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 your network is choppy. Your network is choppy, Evelyn. Evelyn, your network is choppy. Mami Dufi, please read the examiner's comment for me. Okay, sir. This is very well organized response, which analyzes the topic from four different angles and fully answers the question. The ideas are relevant and well supported. The answer is easy to read. There are some inaccuracies in word choice, but they have minimal impact on the reader. There are also occasional errors in spelling and grammatical structure, which 
prevent the awarding of the highest band scores. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. So this examiner was even tempted to give this person banana. Hi. Oh. Mm. Oh. This examiner was tempted to give this student a banana. Nine. Had it not been grammatical yeah. uh, spelling errors and is that occasional errors in spelling and grammatical structure, which prevents the awarding of the highest band score. So, wow. my good friends, you know where to improve. We are going to work on your grammar. Do you remember the last, I think, listening class? We introduced the topic mind mapping. Do you remember? Yes. yes sir. We're going to use mind mapping in answering some of these questions. Yes, sir. It's a powerful tool you can use to advance your argument in the writing test, in the writing test, that's two. Okay. Now, Sir, I will call you. Yeah, I'm here now. Isaac, are you pa now on Sunday? Hey, I read that somewhere. Okay. So, Mercy Bobite, I need you yes, to read your argument you made in support of the second essay we were discussing before I jumped. Uh, for the benefit of those who have quickly forgotten the second essay, I want to share that on your screen. Mm -hmm. It's about shopping and its negative impact. Ah, sorry. It's impact either negative or positive on society. It says shopping is becoming more and more popular as a leisure activity. However, no, sir. yes. Yeah, before you continue, you see the other the this band eight essay, the guy wrote at the edge of the paper. Is it allowed? <laughs> My people never <laughs> no 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 don't do that at all. So, sir, could you yes. request for extra sheets if you exhaust your sheets? Papers need to go off. Ask for more papers. There are oh, okay. more papers available to you. Ask for more papers when your paper is exhausted. Never, ever, ever write on the edge. The examiner was a good summary. Hello, sir. The was so lenient. Yes. So, please, what's he wrote, was it up uh, to 250 words? That's another good question. It wasn't 250 words. Hmm. Because when you read, when you look at the pages, it's just one and a half or maximum two pages. Yes. Hmm. And yet, you got a band eight. Okay. Sometimes some of these things, I, I don't want to share them. Otherwise, it makes you complacent. Mm -hmm. So I just and, need you to put in a little effort and you'll be fine. Sir, okay. Yes. Sir. yes. Also, looking at the his his response, you could see that he spoke for both sides. He didn't really choose a side like exactly. For the I get into the latter part. He dropped the other side in. It's a technique we'll teach you, and it's perfectly okay. Remember the. IELTS is not about technical competence. Always remember that. Okay. So I, I, at the tail end, he spoke as though he is supporting a one's family to support their uh, their old people. But when he started, he started with the government side. And it's okay if you know how to do use it well. It is perfectly okay. All right. Let me finish reading the essay. So shopping is becoming more and more popular as a leisure activity. However, some people feel that this has both positive and negative effect. Why is shopping so popular? What effect does it 
does it increase in popularity have on individuals and on society? So, Mercy Bobite, I need you to read your argument so that we can close today's class. Yes, sir. So, the popularity of shopping can have negative impact on society in many ways. Number one, impulsive and excessive shopping can lead to financial strain if the behavior is not controlled. So should I explain each point? No, your point are excellently well made. I just want you to read. Okay, yes, sir. And number two, the lure of consumer products can lead to compulsive buying behaviors, which can negatively affect mental health. Three, it leads to materialism in society as people attribute happiness and success to shopping. Four, increasing demands of consumers leads to the need for mass production, which means increased environmental degradation through pollution, <laughs> waste generation, and climate change. And then five, companies tend to exploit their workers <laughs> so that they can cut costs on their production and make more profits. Mercy. So this, I'm done. Mercy. Yes, sir. That is, yes, a ban, that is a band nine point. Hey. Wow. <laughs> that is Thank a you, band sir. nine point you have made, and I'm so impressed. The spelling, you, the structure, perfect. You just the professor to... in our midst. Yes, Professor hey. Macy. <laughs> 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 Professor Nancy <laughs> Bobbity, point well made. I love it. I have read all your points. Thank you all stood out. It doesn't mean your the rest of your points are not good, though. If you had the opportunity to add flesh to the bone, I would have fallen in love with it. But it's great. The least I can score. Thank you, sir. Your point for all the rest of you, the least I will give. It's a band six. So a minimum of band six to a band nine. Very impressive. So now we now have a fair idea of the structure of the writing task. The writing task, sorry, the, the writing test or the writing exam. The writing exams is in two parts. Part one, a simple letter writing. If your grammar is good, your sentence construction is good, your spelling is good, your coherency flows well, you take it easy peasy. A task two is an argument you make in support or against a position on a relevant topic and how to advance it. Now, the only <coughs> challenge, the, my challenge with all of you, just a, except a few of you, is one, your spelling, two, your tenses, three, sentence construction, and then maybe coherency. Coherency, you are all okay, but your tenses, and then uh, the, the use <laughs> of, uh, especially the use of the article has and have. It was what? When to use has. When to use have. Esther, you are not paying attention. When to use has. When to use have. It. And so on and so forth. Those. Uh, and then your tenses. So next week, Saturday, we're going to do another writing class. I'm going to look at grammatical tenses. When to use what and then adjectives, when to use what, okay? At this point, do you have any question for me? Any question, comment, concern? You don't have any question, you don't have any comment, you don't have any concern? Okay, 
I have a comment for you. Uh, on the 26th of this month, this month of February, we expect to receive Rose Policapio, the CEO of United Methodist okay. Recruitment Agency. She's going to be in Ghana for at least three weeks. Mm. Now, whilst in Ghana, she will be doing several things. One of them will be to do on the spot interview. Uh, this time around, we're doing the on the spot interview in two areas in Accra at the British Council and then in Kumasi in our office. Just two places, two regions this time. So tell your friends, those who are interested, they should take advantage 26 to 28, you'll be in Accra. And then um, I'm sorry. Uh, March four to the March four to March six, you'll be in Kumasi. Now, that is for the on the spot interview. The other things you'll be doing is uh, signing the employment agreement with all those who had managed to finish a medical examination. She's going to sign all those. She started signing those who signed your portion last year. She's not done. She's going to complete the rest here when she's here. She would love to meet as many of you who may find time. This is not compulsory, optional. If you are free, if you are available, you can either meet us in Accra British Council Hall or in Kumasi in our office when she's around. Okay. There are a few other things you'll be doing. We'll announce them as we go along and the role you're going to play. So this is yes, just yes. by way of information to all of you. On that note, thank you very much for coming. Have a good evening and goodbye to you all. Thank you, Susie. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. My Most welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you.